this is a video to demonstrate the voltage regulator. Now, one of the issues with voltage regulation is the fact that we have a problem with um, people wanting to have only 240 volts supplied to their uh, mining equipment. This uh, particular voltage regulator that I've developed, which is right here, um, is designed to um, regulate the voltage anywhere from 12 volts to 350 volts. What I'm going to show you today is this uh, voltage regulator regulating uh, 240 volts coming out of this generator that I've got next to it. And what I wanted to show you is the fact that regardless of the speed, when it hits 240, it's 240 and that's what it's going to be. Now I've got my voltmeter plugged into one of the outlets just to demonstrate it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the generator on just like this. You can see the voltage right here. Now what we want to do is we want to get up to 240 volts to see if it locks in. There you, can, there you can see that the voltage regulator absolutely locked it down, locked down the, uh, the power. Now, what I've got here, these uh, MOSFETs, metal oxide semiconductor transistors, are rated at uh, 600 volts and 47 amps. What I've got is, I've got it set up so that if we're looking at uh, 240 volts, it basically is going to take in about 15, 16 amps tops into a uh, generator or a bet mine, coin miner. And these fuses right here, those are 20 amp fuses. That protects the transistor uh, if there's ever any problems. But there's, uh, there shouldn't be any problems. Everything is pretty solid. We're going to put this in a nice case. And these are the... Uh, voltage regulators that we're going to send out on all of the um, all of the equipment and some people want them uh, you know 120 240 whatever they want all we have to do is set the the, uh, the voltage to match whatever somebody wants but basically they want 240 volts into the into the miners and this is what we're going to be able to give them and you just saw I mean, this thing was over 300 volts, and we were sitting there at 40 volts, 240. That's just what we do. That's how we've been doing it, and that's how it works. It's pretty effective. 